Hello, welcome to the AFCON series where we profile every single team at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. For today, we are doing the Spy Girls Team Nigeria. I don't know what I'm doing. Before I begin the video, uh, a disclaimer, I do not hate any country. And I have no reason to absolutely hate any country at all for this video. But let's talk about the Super Eagles campaign at the AFCON 2023. And this should be their 20th appearance at the Africa Cup of Nations since they made their debut in 1963. So in that span, Nigeria are three-time champions of Africa. And their most recent triumph was in 2013 when they had players like Sande Imba, also Victor Moses, Mikel Lobi, Ahmed Musa, and even Emmanuel Muniki. But this time in 2023, well, Nigeria have a whole different squad and the only survivors from that 2013 team to now is Kenneth Omeru, who is the centre-back, and also Ahmed Musa, who is a forward. So as of the time of making this video, Nigeria had released a 41-man squad provisional list, which is expected to be trimmed down to probably either 23, 25, or 27 more squad to be presented for the AFCON. So in defense for that team, some notable names include Ola Aina, Calvin Basse, Kenneth Romero, William Trostekon, and even Semi Ajayi. In midfield, they have some popular names like Wilfred Onyenye Indidi, Alexander Chukaiwobi, Frank Onyeka, and many more. And for the forward line, they do have Victor James Osimen, Victor Okoboniface, Ademo Lalukmat, and Moses Simon, Samuel Chukweze, Kelechi Hienatu, and many more. But there are some notable omissions from the Nigeria squad, the 41-man squad, which was released. And I think the most notable of them will be Taiwa Woni, who is actually injured and out of the Afghan. But also, Gift Urban, quite surprising, he couldn't make the 41-man squad for Nigeria. And also, Leon Balogan, the centre-back, also couldn't make the 41-man squad for Nigeria. So without the link at Iowa, the obvious stronghold for Team Nigeria, that's their squad, is in attack. Because that's where all the stars and the big names are. The attack is led by Africa's current best player, that is Victor James Osimhen. He is the current best player of Africa and he leads the, the attack. But also included is, that is Victor Okoboniface, who is actually the top scorer of Bayer Ofo Leverkusen in the German Bundesliga. Adem Olalupon is the top scorer of Anlata, who play in the Syria, and he's also present in the Nigeria squad. Terry Murphy is the top scorer of AG Sinis, who play in the French Liga, and he is also in the Nigeria squad. Then Paul Onwacho, who is also the top scorer of his clan, that's Charlton's Paul in the Turkish League. And he is also in the 41-man squad presented by Nigeria for the AFCON. But despite all these big names, Nigeria have quite struggled to get the goals. And in their last six official games, it was only in two games where they scored more than one goal. So four out of their last six games, they scored either one goal or lesser than one goal in four of their last six last official games with friendly matches not included. So in defense, this is where all the trouble starts for Nigeria. So the most likable possibility is having Olaina play in defense. He plays for Nottingham Forest in the English Premier League. Also Calvin Basse, he plays for Fulham, also in the English Premier League. And then um, having probably Senior Jai also play, who plays for West Brom in the English Championship. Well, they, they've actually struggled to shut down their defensive in terms of not considering goals in their most recent games. So in the last six official games also Nigeria have played, they have conceded in all of them by just two games. So they've considered against countries like Guinea Bissau, considered against Sierra Leone, considered against Lesotho, and even considered against Zimbabwe. That's how bad the defense have been so far. Well, the midfield for Nigeria is quite a bit exciting because the names also do get exciting over there. As I mentioned earlier, Victor Nini Ndidi is well present in that team. He's expected to play the box-to-box -box role in terms of marshalling the defense and also moving forward and driving the ball forward. But also they do have Alexander Chukai will be who is expected to, of course, be the ball carrier in, in midfield for Nigeria, create some chances and even if possible, score some goals for midfield in addition. But their team has also been lacking creativity for midfield in their past six games. So out of their last six games they have also played, they have only two assists for midfield, only two assists, and one was from Wolfred Nidi, the other one was from Joe Aribo. No other assist again for midfield, so if they score all the assists, it doesn't come from the midfield. So Nigeria is expected to come in Dubai, probably size down from the 41 squad or maybe send all the 41 squad to go camp in Dubai for that is the AFCON. And it's quite strange because I mean, yeah, in West Africa, the AFCON will be happening in Cote d'Ivoire, which is just a few miles away from Nigeria, but they are going all the way to Dubai 
to do their campaign for whatever reason. I can't tell and I don't know why, but it's quite strange. But that's what we campaign for the AFCON. And in the AFCON, they're in group with in group A, the group of the hostages, and that's what La Côte d'Ivoire. So they also have Equatorial Guinea, and then they have Guinea Bissau in their group. So this group is very difficult for Nigeria. First of all, they are playing against the host nation Côte d'Ivoire, who have a lot of exciting talents, but also you know that they have the support of their fans in the match days, which is going to make it a bit difficult for Nigeria to dominate against a country who are the host nation have a lot of supporters in the stadium supporting them. But then again, there's also another threat for Nigeria, and that's Equatorial Guinea. So Equatorial Guinea have the last half come, surprised everyone when they were the team to stop the unbeaten run of Algeria, the beat of Algeria at the last half goal. And they reached all the way to the quarterfinal in that half goal. Fast forward after the last half goal, they lost just one game, just a single game in all the games they've played since the last half goal. And that's how strong they are. Well, even in 2023, Equatorial Guinea are unbeaten in 2023. So they have five wins and two draws in the matches they played in 2023. So they are a really strong dark horse in this group for Nigeria. So with the current predicament of the Nigerian team where the defense has failed to sort of shut down, they have, they've also had goalkeeping problems. Their goalkeeper, Francis Osongo, has made quite um, some basic mistakes when he was imposed for the team. It's hard. It's really hard for me to, to, to promise Nigeria to go out of the group in top two positions. And my prediction is Cote d'Ivoire to finish second in the group, second place Equatorial Guinea and Nigeria to finish third place in the group. But thankfully, there is the option for a team to finish third place and still qualify to the round of 16 states. And I think Nigeria, that's where they are going to end, qualify out of the group as third place in the group, but be eliminated in the round of 16 states. Well, that's only my prediction, but you can also tell me where you think Nigeria will finish in this half in the comment section below.